My name is Jordan General. I'm the best six man in the league playing for the Chicago Huntsman. My gamer tag originates from a very funny story of mine. You know, when I was very young, I used to play with Legos. I love Star Wars and my action figures. I would just play around and, you know, pretend that I was a legit general of my Lego armies. And my family, you know, they would make fun of me, but eventually, you know, it stuck and, you know, it became, you know, the joke of the household, you know, I'm the general. So whenever it came down to me playing video games, you know, I first started on the PlayStation 2, playing Star Wars Battlefront, and then I would go on to the original Xbox. And the funny story about that is, you know, I would just, I walked into the GameStop and I was with my cousin. I looked to my left, I looked to my right. I see a green guy with an assault rifle on the front page of a video game cover. And I say, I want that game. I mean, at this time I was, I have to say five, six years old and it ends up being Halo Combat Evolved. And, you know, I guess it's destiny because that game literally stuck with me, all, all the trilogies. So I would play Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3, and I didn't even have Xbox Live for Halo 1 and Halo 2. I would just play by myself, campaign, love the lore, and just be a nerd and go crazy with it, right? And then once Halo 3 comes around, um, I just, I fall in love with Xbox Live, you know? There's a, a picture of me and it says Jordan General and that was my first gamer tag I ever made because of course of that store I just said and I'm sitting there with the Halo 3 beating on because I got the Halo 3 Legendary Edition and then I'm sitting there with, with, a, with my thumbs up and then you see my name in the background and it says Jordan General and you know I would keep on playing Halo 3 and love custom games and definitely one of the funnest times I ever had in my childhood was playing that game. So when it comes down to my competitive career, you know, it's definitely a very, very, you know, anomaly story when it comes down to someone coming up. So after, you know, me playing Halo 3 and Xbox Live and just grinding that game, uh, I was just bored one day and, you know, with Halo Reach coming in, you know, uh, you know, I was kind of a fan of the game, but you know, I just wanted to play something different. So I went over to Battlefield, Battlefield 3, I loved that game, and you know, eventually got sick and tired of it. And then I would go to Call of Duty Ghost because that was when uh, that game was just coming out. And I would watch esports, I would watch Black Ops 2, and I was watching the Halo 3 tournaments. And I said to my parents, uh, once Call of Duty Ghost came out, I said, you know, what? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a pro. And this is, this was like towards midway uh, of Call of Duty Ghost, because I was still just playing COD just to play it. And it's not to say I didn't play Black Ops 2 or, or MW3. I was just, I just loved Halo. But going on, um, my story is actually hilarious because I didn't network, I didn't play tens, I didn't do anything. I, I literally went into a public match, Clan v Clan and would play for at least a month uh, and just meet people through Clan v Clan and game chat. And that turned up into meeting people in, you know, Michigan. And I would play with them and then that turned into going into locals. And it's just funny how I, I met someone basically random and they ended up living in Michigan. And that's just turned into me, you know, networking and playing with, you know, which would become my E6 team when I first started. Uh, you know, back in UMG Cali, um, you know, we would win, you know, to the 250 series and the tournaments before that, but I still remember it to this day. I was playing against Optic for top three at my first official pro event. I still remember that the crowds was, was literally crazy. You would hear that huge Optic roar, and then you would hear the, some of the E6 supporters that was just screaming at the top of their lungs. And at the time, we were, you know, the golden childs of the amateur scene. You know, we literally came from nothing that no one expected us to do anything. And we're here playing against Opti Gaming, one of the best dynasties to ever live. So I'm sitting here and I'm sitting here now, and especially in the moment, I'm literally seeing this crowd go roaring and, uh, you know, I'm literally like living through it. And it was one of the greatest uh, times of my life. 
Because at the time, you know, coming into an event, you know, you, you, you go into an event wanting to win it. You need to have that confidence as a competitor, right? But for me, with an amateur team that no one knows was gonna do anything, you know, you, you want at least like top eight, you know, you gotta be realistic. But for us to play that so good and actually have a good chance to take Optic to almost game five and potentially almost could have beat them if it wasn't for our own mistakes, you know, that was a crazy, a crazy moment for me. And us placing third, it instantly put us on the map, instantly. So for me as a 15 year old and an owner at the time, you know, that was a lot just for me, you know, coming into a scene, an impressionable child. And ever since then, I always look back at that. And now I'm here now. And, you know, the, the journey has been crazy. This off season was definitely a roller coaster of emotions, definitely with a lot of highs and lows. So when it came down to champs, the amount of time I put into that tournament, along with my teammates, especially my coach, we literally put everything into that tournament. So when it came down to the off season, I was you know, expected to be on a team, just call it how, how it is. At, at Champs, I'm sitting here you know, playing for my, my top three, top four. I just got done beating a couple of these top teams and I'm sitting here pe watching people in suits at franchise meetings. And in, in the back of my head, I'm just like, hmm, well, you know, I'll worry about that later. Let me just focus on the tournament. A little do I know, fast forward two, three months ago, people are already with these franchise people getting to their, getting to their, their ears and saying what they want to say uh, about whoever behind their back. And it's not their fault. At the end of the day, it's just the people that got there. It's just what it is. You know, we got to respect their hustle. No, dis no disrespect to that. But when it comes down to me, arguably, you could say that last year I was a very consistent player. We had very good placings. Definitely not a win. Of course, you would want to win, but you know, top sixes and a top four at champs, especially with good performances from the players on the teams, including myself. I mean, at champs, it was literally my best tournament this whole year. And just like everyone always says, right? If you don't do a good at champs, you're not a good team. You need to do good at champs. You need to do good at champs. Uh, if you don't do a good at champs, you know, you just got nervous. It doesn't matter about the other ones. When it comes down to this tournament, it doesn't matter about the previous ones. You need to do good at this one. And guess what happens? E6 does good at this one. Uh, every dog has their day. That's what it is. You know, I, I just, I, I would just, I just laughed at it. So, for me, um, the reason why I joined the Chicago Huntsman is when it came down to the potential teams I had. Uh, definitely unfortunate circumstances happened where I was on the team one day and then I wasn't on a team the other day. I was on a team this, this time and then I wasn't. You know, that's where it comes to me with the, my roller coaster of emotions because, you know, I'd be like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm on this team and then the next day, no. So when it, comes, when it came down to Hector talking to him, uh, I was, you know, I said to him, I'm, I'm still pursuing to be a starter, right? You know, I'm a competitor at heart. Um, you know, at the end of the day for me, uh, you know, I'm, you know, a, a strategic player. Like I love, you know, the aspects of COD. I love being involved with the scene. I love playing. I love the tournament environment. I love being on the stage. It was just, it's just my passion when it comes down to just that competitive lifestyle, right? So for me, I said to Hector, I said, if I don't get a, a spot on a team, um, and at the time I'm like, you know, I'll probably be on a team, but if I don't, the only team I would sub for in the league is you guys. That's the only team I'd do it. And if it wasn't for Hector, I would not be in the league. And I appreciate that he gave me the opportunity that he did because a lot of people would die for this. And, you know, I'm very grateful that some of the best players to ever play Call of Duty along with someone that's built the foundation for the Call of Duty esports scene, these people gave me the opportunity to be alongside them. So 
when it comes down to it, like, I'm, 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 I'm honored. It's funny because people, you know, would say and make fun of me and say, oh yeah, you're, you're Mr. Do-It-All, you know, a couple years ago. But in all reality, it's true. You know, I, I do do it all. I gave a lot of opportunities to players that at the end of the day, no one would know if I didn't reach out my hand and take that leap of faith on them. There's been multiple players that I literally, you know, took the chance on and I, and I believed in them and I gave them the nudge. I gave them the structure that a winning team, a consistent team in the professional level needs and they excelled. And for me, you know, I've always been about, you know, teamwork. I've always been about that, that teamwork environment where you work together, you win together, you lose together. And that's, that's always been my consistent factor if at always being at the top whenever I'm doing very well. So when I got players like, you know, for example, Dashi, Abizi, um, I have to think there's just so many, like even, even in my champs team, Brezzi, Goderex, Kismet, um, Mayhem, a lot of these players throughout the years uh, wouldn't be able to have a, a winning success team if it didn't come down to those structured fundamentals. So I was there and I would make sure that that's just how the team is going to be. And at the end of the day, that's just how we would mesh. And when it comes down to us playing as a team, you know, everyone has to understand it's not about the individual game, it's all about working together. And that's what I've always tried to strive for and always convey to anyone I play with. At the end of the day, I know that I'm a starter. So I'm gonna keep my head down, I'm gonna work hard, I'm gonna grind. When I get on that main stage, I know I'm gonna perform. Pressure or no pressure, I'm going to perform. I've done it over and over and over again. I never gotten the credit that I deserve, but I'll continue to prove everybody wrong because that's who I am. I'm general.